Hi, and welcome to freedomotive.com. My name is Kai Hoard, and in today's video we're going to look at dynamic material changes inside of blueprints. As you can see, I have this red ball here. If I step into a trigger volume, it goes from red to blue, and then if I step back into it, it should pop back to red, and then blue and red. I'm going to go over to in this video on how to create that. To start off with, I have this empty scene and I put a trigger volume in front here and how I've done that is over in modes just typed in trig and then we use this trigger volume here in a content browser I'm going to use one of the starter content props which is a material sphere just pop it down here scale that up bring it up there you go and once that's in the scene, we're going to go over into the content browser. We're going to go right click, get a material, type in mat underscore dynamic, and then open that window up. And then you have the material editor. I'm going to close the plat there, that window there. And then what I'm going to do is bring in a lerp, which is if you type in lerp, you should have linear interpolate come up here. Or I just used a shortcut, the L but, uh, key on the keyboard. From A, I'm going to use a vector parameter. I'll change that to color 1. Bring that up, copy and paste that, and then change that name to color 2. I'm going to bring that into B. And then I'm going to just change that color to like blue, click OK, so I'll bring that up here, and then change that to red, and then click OK. Outside of the alpha, I want a constant, just a constant one. Now if you right click that, and go to convert to parameter, and I'm just going to call that color and leave that at zero so it's red and then as you can see if I change that to one it should go blue hit apply and then close that window I'm just going to drag that onto the actual sphere itself into this element here so with this here in the details panel you want to go into click on blueprints I'm just going to put that into my folder here I'm going to leave that as the default blueprint name. Create blueprint, and then it will open a new window. Inside of this blueprint, we want to go to construction script. You want to bring out a node here and type in dynamic. I'm going to just use the bottom one there. That way, it's referencing the static uh, component. So with target, we don't need anything because it's already referencing. Inside of element index. If you go to your material here, you can see that we've only got one element here, which is element zero. So we just leave that as it is. And then with this, change that to dynamic. And then outside the return variable, uh, value, sorry, turn that to a variable. As you can see here, the variable type is material instance. I'm just going to change the name of that to change color hit compile inside of event graph we want to delete all this stuff and what we're going to do is go custom and create a custom event call that change color ok we can't do that because it's already got a reference for that I'll just call it change and then with this variable we're just going to bring that drag it in and get a getter drag that off and type in Scalar, set scalar parameter. We want this thing to be there, and then we want the parameter name is inside of the material. We called it color, so we just change that name to color. Set the value to one. Hit compile. And then the last thing we want to do is in blueprints, open level blueprints 
and then with this trigger volume we want to click in here and type in overlap add on active again overlap drag uh, don't drag that out actually we'll get a reference of this material so if you right click create reference drag off and then go change and then you've got your call function here which is the custom event click that and then pop that into there click compile and now if we go play from here it changes color and what you want to do to have the uh, it change between blue and red we just want to copy these values and then outside the change bring in a flip-flop put that value B into that one change that to zero compile then in the level play from here and as you can see now they change color do have the gradient if you want to push it that extra bit further you can bring in a timeline add timeline I'm going to leave that as its default name double click it float and just change that to 0 to 1 in here type in add key change the time to 0 and the value to 0 and we'll add another key and then change the time to 1 with a value of 1 change the length to 1 hit compile and then inside of the event graph bring this float and pop it into there so that should change it so the first time we step into this it will now bring in that gradient and you could just do that the opposite and then if you want it to always do it uh, sorry click play from start so if you want to push that further you can just click play from start so it will always keep doing it so either here play from here gradient change snaps to red gradient change and that's how you set up dynamic materials inside of Unreal Engine 4 my name is Carl Hood and thank you for watching 3dmolib.com